Pacific Ocean. Apparently one of the Falcon 9's legs failed to lock as it touched down, causing the rocket to topple in a hard landing and burst into flames. It's believed ice buildup during the liftoff actually caused that problem. American Pie singer Don McLean is out on bail tonight after he was arrested on a domestic violence charge in Maine. The 70 year old singer posted $10,000 bail this morning. Details about what landed him in jail have not been published. McLean's original manuscript and notes to American Pie sold at auction for $1.2 million back in April. Now, the 1971 hit was about the deaths of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper in a plane crash in February back in 1959. That's the day the music died. At least two A-listers will not grace the red carpet at this year's Academy Awards. Director Spike Lee and actress Jada Pinkett Smith today said they're skipping the ceremony because of a lack of diversity. This is the second year in a row where all slots in the four major categories went to white actors. In a lengthy Instagram post, which included a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King, Lee said he can't support what he called the Lily White Oscars. Jada Pinkett Smith followed with a video message on Facebook. Begging for acknowledgement or even asking diminishes dignity and diminishes power. And we are a dignified people and we are powerful. And let's not forget it. Pinkett Smith followed that by saying, let the Academy do them and let us do us differently. Her husband, Will Smith, didn't get a nomination for his role in the NFL head trauma drama, Concussion. Gas selling for less than two bucks a gallon. That's nothing special these days, but take a look at this gas station sign in Houghton Lake, Michigan. That's no mistake. Gas selling for 78 cents a gallon. But get this. At one point yesterday, it fell to 47 cents. Seems it was all part of a crazy price war with the local competition. At last check, that crazy price war is over. Gas there now selling a buck 50 a gallon. Always watching, always tracking. WUSA 9's first alert weather. DC's most accurate. So I thought a four wheel drive would be okay and I'd be okay, but you're telling me put a plow in front of that four wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm looking at. You'll have a locking rear axle, though, then you won't get stuck. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, we're not talking about this is not a lock, it's not in stone, but we're trying to give you an idea of some of the models, and they're in very close agreement. Kind of unusual for a storm so far out. Now, that said, we've got to track it across California into the deep south, and then we're kind of lock in on it. But I'm going to show you this model. It's the American model. And the point here is it's possible to have some accumulating snow before noon on Friday. So get your errands done by Thursday night. Not a lot, one to two inches, especially west of town. But by 6 p.m., now we got four or five inches across the metro area. And again, it's just a possibility. 6 a.m., 18 maybe in uh, Leesburg. And it, one thing that does seem sort of for sure, we're going to see a storm, okay? And we're all going to probably see the bullseye north and west of town. We're lacking a little cold air with this system. Not a pure snow for you folks down into southern Maryland. Consequently, you'll have a little bit less snow. And then by 530 in the evening on Saturday, look at these snowfall totals. Over 20 inches north and west of town and very close to 23 inches downtown. Now, you know Nashville's never, never going to measure 23 inches. Even in 2010, it didn't measure that much. Dallas had 32 and Nashville had about, you know, 17. But... Nonetheless, a big to historic storm is coming our way. 19 right now. That is not a wind chill. Oh, no. Winds are gusting to 30, taking that wind chill to around zero. Wind chill advisory in effect until noon tomorrow. Wind chills will be below zero overnight. Very cold tonight. Clear. Temperatures themselves will be holding in the teens. Now, bus stop temperatures 10 to 22. Wind chills around zero. Winter storm Friday into Saturday, accumulating snow again by Friday morning. So get your prescriptions filled by uh, Thursday and pick them up. And if you're trying to get in or out of town, Tomorrow's the day to make some adjustments with airlines and car travel and that sort of thing. Okay, 930 tonight. Temps in the teens. 15 Gettysburg, 19 downtown, uh, 17 in Fairfax. By early morning, 12 in, in uh, Silver Spring, 10 in Olney, and 12 in Bowie. Those are straight temperatures. By 9 a.m. in the teens still with full, this is with full sun too. By 1 o'clock, we're back in the low to mid 20s, maybe 24 in La Plata, maybe 25 in Culpeper, only 21 in Hagerstown. And then by this time tomorrow night, we're still only in the 20s, and that is with clear skies. So day planner looks like this. Teens to start, 21 by 11 o'clock and 24 with full sun by 1 p.m. Now, Wednesday, clouds come in. We have a little flake here. Yes, some snow showers possible Wednesday night. Not a huge deal. Very nice Thursday. The calm before the storm. Highs near 40. Next seven days. Friday and Saturday, there are the two stormy days. 
Now we're looking at temperatures in the, in the 40s on Sunday and Monday of next week. When all the coaching changes began, we all wondered if and when this would happen. The Maryland Terrapins get some bad news today regarding their top recruit. The latest on that coming up next in sports.